you besties, how are you all doing? Welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be a bit different from normal as I'm sure you guys can probably already tell by the fact that I'm coming to you from my sofa. It's a good way to set up that this video is going to be an at home chit chat video where we have lots of exciting things to catch up on. I was actually anticipating that this week's video would be a London vlog as per usual, um, but as I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware, Omicron is out here taking all of us down. So I've obviously been trying to stay indoors as much as possible all of my social plans and events have been cancelled um so yeah i've literally not been up to much if anything it's actually felt like i've been in lockdown this last week but yeah before everything really kicked off with covid i did actually manage to head out to harris to do some christmas shopping um for my family but also for myself because if you guys have been watching me for a while you know that i'm all about treating yourself self-care and especially at the end of the year i always like to treat myself to a really nice present um to kind of celebrate everything that happened in the year and just act as a nice incentive to keep working hard and keep doing me um and as i'm sure you can see by the title we have something super exciting to unbox shortly um which i'll do two things actually one thing from hermes and one thing from acne studios um but obviously we're gonna start off with the hermes um because it's Hermes. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox these in a moment because I thought it'd just be something fun to share with you guys. Um, and then for the rest of the video, we have a bit of a catch up to do because I have some kind of big life updates to share. So we'll get into all of that. But first things first, the orange bag. I'm gonna start off with a disclaimer that this is not a handbag, although I really wish it was. Um, what I actually picked up from Harrods is actually a piece of homeware, which I guess now is the perfect time to tell you guys one of the big announcements that I have in this video, which is that I'm moving. Yeah, guys, I'm moving from this flat. Um, we're gonna talk about that in a moment, but let me quickly get these ribbons off and show you the full unboxing. Okay, here she is, all nicely wrapped up in the classic Hermes packaging. Lastly, I want you guys to have a guess on what you think it might be based on the size of it. Leave a comment down below. But yeah, to quickly go into the topic of moving, I'm actually leaving the apartment that I'm currently in in about a month's time from now, um, which is something that I am honestly so excited about. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I've lived in this building for coming up to two years now. Um, I moved in in my last year of university and then over lockdown moved back home with my parents and then got this apartment that I've lived in for coming up to a year now. Um, obviously the building, the amenities, the sky pool, everything here is absolutely amazing but I kind of feel like I'm just ready for a new location, a new chapter. Um, one thing that I've like been talking about with all of my friends is that in Battersea, which is where my flat is for anyone that doesn't know, um, it's like a very slow pace of life and like there's not that many young people here and I just really want to be in an environment where it's really buzzing, it's really vibrant, there's loads of young people um, and so I've basically been on a mission to move for a hot sec now and I can now confirm that everything has been approved. So yeah, I'm going to be moving to a new apartment in East London which I am so so excited about and thought to celebrate I would buy a piece of home decor so now let's do the unboxing say hello to my new Hermes ashtray this is the circuit 24 design which I absolutely love I'm obsessed with the colors in this the gold detailing I just feel like it's a combination of all the colors which I love it's gonna be such a fun piece to have on my coffee table um, which let's just ignore all of this mess right now so yeah this is what I picked up as like an early Christmas present to myself a nice way to end off the year um, another thing which I haven't actually mentioned with the new apartment is that it is completely unfurnished so I'm really looking forward to like putting my touch on a place and having my mark and I feel like this is a really nice starting piece so yeah if you guys are as excited as I am for this new chapter hit the thumbs up button to let me know also leave a comment down below how you would like the kind of moving series this time round like would you like dedicated home videos or would you like me to just integrate them in my London vlogs let me know in the comments down below and I'll do whatever you guys are interested in but yeah the next thing I picked up is in a pink bag and it's from Acne Studio Videos. and honestly I feel as though you guys will probably already be able to guess what this is actually every person has this at the moment um, but I couldn't resist it's the Acne Studios scarf da -da -da -da. yeah it's the Acne Studios scarf that everyone has at the moment um, with like 
this classic logo on it. I absolutely love the colours on this. Um, when I went into the store, I actually believe she said it was only brought out that day. Um, so I haven't actually seen anyone else with this design, but I just love it. I love how pink it is. Pink's one of my favourite colours. And again, with the whole new flat, whilst this is obviously a scarf, I actually use scarves a lot of times as like blankets to put on the side of my um, sofa, kind of like, like that, you know? So I feel like this on the side of the sofa with the new Hermes ashtray, we're gonna create a nice pink vibe, I don't know. I feel like I'm onto something there. Um, so whilst I'm aware that this is quite a pricey scarf, I kind of also see it as something that will work as a blanket. So I'm really, really excited about this and cannot wait to style it. Okay, so this is what she looks like on with the little Acne Studios logo at the bottom. I am so happy with this. Um, and then you can just flick it over as a scarf and it's just so gorgeous um i've really tried it on in the store with like my big winter coat and it just looks so cool um so yeah this is the newest purchase it's also really really soft and warm so yeah super happy with this purchase okay so now we've got the unboxings out of the way i've spoken to you guys about the moving i have something else a couple more things actually to talk to you guys about um which I'm gonna start off by addressing a massive, massive elephant in the room. It's something that I was so nervous to say, which I don't even know why, because I know that you guys are gonna be so supportive. And honestly, a lot of you probably already saw it coming from my last video that I filmed like this, where I kind of answered some questions, um, and that is university. Guys, I am no longer doing my masters. Why does it feel so weird saying that? Um, so yeah, in a nutshell, I am no longer doing my masters in broadcast journalism at City. Okay, so I'm editing and realized that I explained this in such a long-winded way, but long story short, on my course, you need to be in for a certain amount of news days, which are days that were in the studios, like creating news programs, um, for you to be able to graduate. Um, and once I kind of got confirmed that I'm doing Formula E next season, which, woo, next announcement, um, I had to go through my schedule with my tutor to essentially find out that I wouldn't qualify for the amount of days needed to graduate or if I did want to go ahead and miss some of the days I wouldn't actually finish with a master's in broadcast journalism it would just go down to journalism and yeah I obviously didn't want that to happen and it was a really difficult decision to make back and forth but even from my university they were like you can't like give up this amazing opportunity to travel and do all of this cool stuff that I have planned for next year um so it just was the best thing for me to defer um which yeah it's a nice thing i didn't drop out i've deferred so i can go back to the course at any time um to pick it up but for the year ahead i just wasn't going to be able to do both i was hoping that i could just do some of the days online when i'm not here um but it wasn't possible it was out of my control so yeah that's the update i'm out from uni um and yeah i'm gonna go back to the video now honestly it was something that was so upsetting um but it is what it is and i just have to be super grateful for the fact that i am busy and that i am working in my dream field so that probably just makes sense to focus on what i really have going and all of the amazing things that are ahead of me versus trying to like balance both um especially for a degree that i didn't really have any intention of using now and would probably be something that i'd use in the future does that make sense um so yeah i'm no longer a student guys the cat's finally out of the bag even though 90 percent of you guessed it um but it's something that i'm so so happy about and from the day that i like stopped attending and kind of left things just picked up so crazy and so rapidly um and i've been able to put all of my focus and time and attention into it which just makes me really happy and fulfilled so yeah i feel like it's definitely the right decision but yeah your girl is officially a full-time creative which out of everything that is probably the only thing which like made me stressed out because i've always done this alongside being at university whether it was at london college of fashion or at city and when i was doing everything last year it was a gap year so it kind of felt more structured so yeah now that i've officially freed the masters um i guess yeah i am now doing this all full time which i'm not gonna let myself get too worked up into because i have technically been doing it full time all these years um but it's just nice to know that i have more time and more energy to 
focus on everything and honestly guys the plans that I have for 2022 are just so so exciting um, and I just cannot wait to take you along with me for it all um, and so yeah stay tuned for all of that and again linked with the like moving series moving into a new space and have all of those new home vlogs coming I feel like you guys are just gonna have a lot of content to enjoy and get through and yeah once I move into that new space I am gonna be amping up my uploads so it won't just be new videos every Sunday I will be doing weekly uploads as well I haven't decided if it'll be two uploads a week or three but we're definitely ramping up the content on here um, which you guys deserve and it's something that I'm so excited about as I'm sure you can see um, so yeah that is the second biggest thing oh, that feels nice now and yeah linked with all of that if you guys aren't following me on my Instagram which I'm gonna put on screen if you'd like to follow me on there um, I made an announcement earlier on in the week that I am actually continuing with Formula E for season eight which I am over the moon about I actually have like a new role with what I'm presenting next season that I can't tell you too much about now but let's just say I'm gonna be doing a lot more lifestyle and travel stuff which links so perfectly with what I wanted to show you guys on here um, so the travel vlogs that you guys are gonna be getting next year are going to be so amazing I cannot wait for them we'll have a lot more freedom to hopefully go out this year um, so I can take you along with me whilst I'm in the city centers rather than last year um, which a lot of the content I shot was like very motorsports heavy and like at the track which obviously I know not all of you guys are into so yeah this time around it's gonna be a lot better balance of like the actual cities and lifestyle content um, which I'm sure you guys are all gonna love and then obviously I will still integrate things on the race day for you guys that are interested in that um, but yeah I think it's just gonna be a lot better balance for this channel so I cannot wait to take you along with me for that um, and on that note that's actually everything that I wanted to catch up with you guys about in today's video I really hope you enjoyed it honestly filming any sit-down videos with you make me so so happy I feel like we're just besties having a chit chat and um, next year as I said with the vlogs and more content that I'll be pumping out I definitely want to integrate more parts of my vlogs where we can have these chit chats and catch ups because I feel like that's when I best connect with you guys and whilst it's great you know like just showing you everything and giving you little glimpses um, it's also nice to have like a real conversation as well so let me know if you guys enjoyed this if you did I'd love if you could hit the thumbs up button and let's continue the conversation over in the comments as I said I'd love if you could let me know if you would like flat stuff in my normal London vlogs or if you'd like a completely dedicated like home vlog let me know and then yeah as for everything else it's not too much longer until things get really exciting over here um, from about the end of January so stay tuned for all of that and um, but in the meantime go and follow me over on Instagram if you're not already because I am always active on that and yeah if you made it to the end of this video I just wanted to say a massive massive thank you on the note which I started the video with regards to COVID and Omicron like I really hope you guys are all doing well and you're staying safe um, and if you are watching this video whilst you're in quarantine from actually having COVID. I'm wishing you the speediest recovery and hope that this video brightened up your day somehow. But yeah, I'm gonna love you and leave you guys here. Cannot wait to see you all in my next video, which I think is actually gonna be after Christmas. So Merry Christmas to you all. I love you so much. I hope you have the most amazing holidays and I'll catch you again next Sunday. Bye guys.